All right, folks, welcome back to PV Academy once again. Last time I was here, I was explaining to you guys how to compute uh, standard deviation, population standard deviation and variance, as well as sample standard deviation and variance. Standard deviation is essentially a standardized uh, deviation from the mean. So if you're trying to figure out, you know, um, how much you did better than the class average, you know, there's a way of having standard deviations from that, you know, how much... Uh, how many units your test grade deviated from the average. Um, and so today we're going to be computing z-scores, which is basically taking two different groups where it has one, uh, one of them has a mean and a standard deviation, and so does the other one. And you want to figure out comparatively between those two groups, uh, you know, who did better, essentially, is what you want to look at. Who did better um, amongst their, you know, team, or in this situation, it's going to be a little bit of a different question. It says... Kathy and Linda both accepted new jobs at different companies. Kathy's starting salary is $31,500, and Linda's starting salary is $33,000. They're curious to know who has the better starting salary when compared to the salary distributions of their new employers. A website that collects salary information from a sample of employees for a number of major company employers reports that Kathy's company offers a mean salary of $42,000 with a standard deviation of $7,000. Linda's company offers a mean salary of 45000 with a standard deviation of 6000 So basically they want to find out, okay, who of us gets a higher uh, distribution um, in comparison to their own employer? So you got to contextualize it because obviously they both have different mean uh, salary you know, distributions, so uh, mean salary numbers, so they want to check out like, okay, how can we standardize this to figure it out? And the Z-score is the way to do so. We gotta pull out our handy dandy notepad, which is already out. Uh, funny enough, so what we got here is we've got to take uh, the numbers we have here, and we've got to essentially identify them. Okay, so we've got thirty-one thousand five hundred as Kathy's starting salary, and Linda's is thirty-three thousand. So what we'd have to do is we need to take Kathy's starting salary, which is thirty-one thousand five hundred. We want to subtract from that. We want to take the mean away from it, which is forty-two thousand. And that leaves us at, I believe, 10,500, negative 10,500, that is actually. Um, then what we need to do is we need to take 33,000, and we need to subtract from that the mean of Linda's company, uh, the offers of Linda's company, which is 45,000. So that puts us at uh, negative uh, 12,000 is what that puts us at. So, then what we simply need to do is divide that bad boy by the standard deviation, which the standard deviation of Kathy's company is 7,000. And we also want to divide by the standard deviation of Linda's company, which is 6,000. Then we need to just simply plug these bad boys into a calculator and compute these numeros. We have our little handy-dandy calculator out here. We got 10,500, okay, divided by 7,000 which puts us at 1.5. Now you gotta remember, negative 1.5. This is extremely, extremely crucial, okay? Extremely, extremely crucial. And um, of course, we don't, need a, we don't need a calculator for that. It's just a negative two. Obviously there's uh, 1,200 divided by 6,000, um, or sorry, 12,000 divided by 6,000 is just gonna be two, and it's negative. Remember, the negative is crucial, and you have to understand what you're actually looking at. Now, I'm gonna take the calculator out of the way here. Not taking up that room because for example if this were running times you're looking at lower running times so the lower the standard deviation the better because you're talking about who got a better runtime the bet the lower the runtime the better so you've got to be able to interpret the uh you know the number to make sure you're using it in the proper way so if it's a question about oh who got the best you know uh running time well then the negative is better the lower the number the better so you've got to understand that now, in this case, we're talking about who has a higher, um, you know, uh, uh, salary, you know. So, as we can see here, uh, Kathy has a negative 1.5 Z-score for this situation, and Linda has negative 2. So, what that means is 1.5 uh, below the mean, and uh, Linda's is 2 below the mean. So, obviously, that means Kathy is getting a higher salary because her number is below the mean, but it's higher than uh, Linda's is. So that it, it, we plug in the Z-score first. Actually, I was leading into <laughs> the next question before I even got to it. We gotta plug in the Z-scores here, folks. Uh, negative 1.5, negative two, of course, that is correct. 
Then uh, we jump into the next question, which is what I was referencing. <clears throat> it says, based on the Z-scores found above, is Kathy or Linda's starting salary higher when compared to the salary distributions of each company? So um, in this situation, as I explained to you, Kathy's is higher because, as you can see, it's one, negative 1 1.5, negative 2. Now, they're both negative. They're both lower than the mean, which is the average. But what that means is because Kathy's is negative 1.5, that means hers is higher because it's not as low as Linda's. So it means Kathy is the one who uh, has the higher salary. So hopefully that helped you. Hopefully it was quick and helped you. Um, and I hope that helps you uh, understand how to compute Z-scores.